Hey everyone, Holly Grant here with Texas Parks and Wildlife Department's Coastal Fisheries Division. Today we are going on a field trip to one of our saltwater fish hatcheries. Texas Parks and Wildlife Department's saltwater fish hatcheries play a really important role in fisheries management and conservation. Here, our biologists will spawn, hatch, throw out, and then release fish like red drum, spotted sea trout, and flounder for stock enhancement. Stock enhancement is when fish that were raised at the hatchery are released into our bays and our estuaries to help supplement our wild populations. Our biologists are going to talk to us a little bit today about how they spawn flounder, how and why they rotate their brood stock or their adult fish population that they have there at the hatchery, and they're also going to show us what it's like when they have to feed some of their adult fish. There is a lot of really interesting work that happens at our hatcheries, so let's head over there now and hear directly from our biologists. Good morning, uh, my name is Bill Gowan. I'm a biologist here at the Marine Development Center in Corpus Christi, Texas. My co-worker Ruben Chavez, we are about to look for some female southern flounder uh, to take to our flounder building and uh, we will be doing hormone injections this morning and then on Thursday and Friday we'll be doing some strip spawns. The first thing our biologists have to do is catch the fish. Okay, what we're looking at here is an extended ovary and uh, we'd like to see it extend down to, you know, length of the body. Because we see the ovary extended along the body of the fish, our biologists have determined that she's ready to move into the flounder building for spawning. Right now, you're seeing her move into a storage tank with a few other females that are also ready to spawn. You'll notice that the storage tank is attached to a vehicle that'll help transport the flounder from one building to the other. Well, we are now in the flounder building. What we're gonna do is we've collected our females from the, the, their tanks over in the uh, bond building here at the hatchery, here at the Marine Development Center. And uh, what we're going to do is we're going to move these females over here. We're going to weigh them, this scale here. And we're going to get their weight, and we're going to get their weight in grams. And then what we're going to do is we're going to calculate how much hormone we're going to inject each female by their weight. Here we're seeing Delbert collecting one of the fish now to be taken into the flounder building and weighed. You'll see him put her on the scale in just a little bit. While she's on that scale, you'll see Reuben scan the flounder. These fish have a tag number associated with them, so biologists are able to track the fish while they're at the facility. After they have identified and weighed her, it's time to calculate how much hormone to inject and do that injection. After they've done that, they will put her into another tank with other females who are also ready to spawn. Okay, so we just got done injecting these five females and uh, they're in the courtship tank and they'll be in here for the next 48 hours and that's when we will do our strip spawning. And as you can see, their development there and then in 48 hours, we'll have even more development. Here we are uh, Thursday, 48 hours after the injection of these fish. We showed you all a picture of them, a little video clip after the injection. And as you can see, um, they are more developed with their eggs. So today we're gonna go ahead and do a strip spawn. We've already collected the milk from the males and we're gonna start the strip spawn here. We'll see what they give us. It's time to catch, identify, and weigh each female one more time. After her weight has been recorded, it's time to collect her eggs. So Patrick is just barely applying pet pressure to the flounder and she's releasing her eggs. Chris is catching them in the bowl. taking a sample of eggs for research and then we are going to add the, the milk and then we're going to start stirring with the bird feather for 90 seconds and then whenever the 90 seconds occurs we'll add the salt water and that will activate the, the milk 
and fertilize the eggs. So from the first fish that we had stripped, really good looking eggs, you can see the floating eggs right now. So that's a good sign of fertilization. And so we're gonna give them a few more minutes. We're gonna let them settle out all the way. But we've got a good fertile layer right here. So we're gonna enumerate. It's uh, 1,300 eggs per mill. We'll uh, enumerate this here shortly and uh, incubate. Okay, so now we've let these eggs settle. These at the top are fertile eggs. We're gonna go ahead and incubate them in, into this incubator here. These eggs will be in here and they will they will hatch in about 36 hours time. Uh, what we're going to be doing this morning is we're going to be doing uh, a fish rotation with our root stock, a uh, redfish root stock. We do this uh, every year. We do a uh, rotation of our fish. We will move our bells from tank to tank and then we will also remove fish that have been here uh, long enough to where it's time to rotate, rotate them out of the system. And then we bring in new fish. And the reason why we do this is we do this for genetic diversity. We don't want to keep producing the same genetics uh, every year. So we want to produce different genetics. So we do this rotation every year. And uh, we're going to hop in the tank. Uh, we're going to sedate these fish. And uh, we're going to work them up and move them around. And then the fish that we're going to remove from the system completely are going to be released back into the wild. Here we see Delbert and Reuben in the tank with the red drum. They've caught a drum that's going to be placed into another one of the hatchery's tanks with a different group of fish than it had been with previously. They do this so that we can get juveniles with a different genetic makeup. They've caught another fish, except this time this fish is going to be released. You'll see that it's being carried out to a tank that's attached to one of our trucks. That way they can haul it to a nearby bay to release it. All right, it's Friday morning here at the Marine Development Center. It's a feed day today for our brood stock, for our redfish, trout, and flounder. Chris and Tyler are here prepping the feed this morning. We feed these fish Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. We feed them mackerel, as you can see Tyler's cutting right now. Over here, Chris is cutting up beef liver. We use that as well. The fish really like it. It's a good source of protein. We also feed them squid, which is right here in the bucket they're going to cut those up and then we also use shrimp and everything's weighed out on the scale over here and everything has a schedule to how many pounds everything gets fed each feed day okay so we're in one of our brood rooms here so chris was prepping the feed earlier he's got it cut up he's got it weighed for uh, this room and he's got a mixture of mackerel shrimp beef liver and we have four tanks of redfish in this room. So in each one of these tanks, we have five redfish. We have three females and two males. These guys are about, I believe, about 20 to 30 pounds of these average average weight. Thank you guys again so much for joining us, and I hope we get a chance to see you soon. Bye.